Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to patch your waders. And not necessarily patch, I'm just gonna be using some Aqua Seal. Uh, this is the FD, they make a UV, they make a whole bunch of different other types, but this is the one that I recommend for, uh, you know, fixing pinhole leaks or just little tears or seaming things back together and stuff on your waders. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, for the materials, like I said, we have that Aqua Seal FD. Um, I've got some nitrile, you could have latex gloves, and then I have 91% isopropyl alcohol. Now, um, I recommend getting the highest alcohol content that you can. 91% uh, is all that I could find. Uh, they make 70, but again, the, the higher the percentage, the better that it is for this situation. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start by spraying down the parts of our waders to try to find those pinhole leaks. And let me show you what that looks like when we do find a leak. So you can see here, for example, there is a spot. It's a little bit darker, but watch what happens when I spray it with the alcohol. See that? So it starts to soak in and you can actually see, and right there at the center is gonna be a leak. And then it looks like I might even have one, two, three more little pinholes right here. So the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna start off going on each leg, right? You can see I've got another little one back here. It looks like I've got some spots up here on the front. So I'm gonna spray down each leg. And as I spray that down and those spots all go dark, this is what I'm gonna be covering with that Aqua Seal. So you can see here, there, right? And I think that's about it. Now, with our gloves on, I'm gonna start by just taking this here, right, and as I get to each spot, I'm just going to smear that in the middle, and just kinda of cover that up right there. All right, and I'll do this on all the little spots that I see. You can see right there, it starts to get a little sticky. You can spray some more rubbing alcohol on it, and that'll keep that from happening. Let's see? a lot smoother there with the with the alcohol on there and I'm just doing a very thin coat like I want it to still be flexible and that's what that whole FD is right flexible is something I can't remember what the other part of that is but once I get that I've got one more here and I'm just trying to keep everything free from touching on itself, right? And now I can set that side, kind of leave it elevated. I've got another one back here. All right, I'm just gonna leave this one elevated. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so this side's just like everything else. Just start by spraying. Sorry, the sun isn't really in our benefit here as it was on the other side. But you really wanna give this a good soak. Right, and so you can see here on this side, I actually only have this one little spot. All right, now I'm spraying this section. You see I got a pretty large tear here Right, I kind of knew that was there because I kept getting wet in that spot every single time. All right, got that one covered. There's another one right next to it. All right, and we just continue spraying.
All right, and that's it. You take your gloves off, your hands are still clean. That alcohol is gonna evaporate. The aqua seal is going to dry in about eight or 10 hours. Uh, just make sure you're, you keep it in a nice dry place. Uh, I would say probably around 70 degrees is good if you can keep them in your house, hang them up in your house, but let all that stuff evaporate first. And this whole process should be done in a pretty well ventilated area because this stuff is strong. So I'm gonna go hang these up, let them dry, and uh, hopefully in the morning, I'm good to go. Found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. All right, everyone, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, and once this is open, it does start to harden and cure. So uh, if you want to prevent that or make this last as long as possible, keep this in a refrigerator. You can even keep it in your freezer. All right, there we are, all hung up. So those should sit there, they should dry. We got a nice little breeze going. It's not too bad out here. Um, now I could send these into Sims and Sims would repair these for free, uh, but I don't always have the time to do that, right? Uh, sometimes I'm fishing several days in a row, uh, several weeks in a row, several months in a row, you name it, right? Who has time to send their waders in? Uh, once I do buy a new pair of waders, I'll use these as my backups and then I can send those new pair of waders in without any issues. But for now, this is a quick, simple fix and um, I hope it was what you were looking for.